All right, so now that we have a secure foundation and her scalp moisturized, we're gonna go ahead and install her lace closure unit. This unit has a band attachment, so this allows for a flat, secure install. All right, so I wanna make sure that I have the band secured in the back. Pull her unit down, and then we'll adjust it in the front. So you wanna look under there and find where her part is. Just adjust the unit to where that is. All right, so we're gonna go in and cut off this excess lace. So you don't wanna cut it straight across, make sure to cut it in a jagged zigzag motion. So now that we have that excess lace cut off, we're gonna go in with our nylon thread and secure the perimeter. So we'll go in and section it here, and I'm gonna add a couple stitches right directly into the closure. So I'm using a lock stitch. So if you see me pushing down, I'm feeling for the braid underneath because when I stitch it down, I wanna make sure that I do stitch it to a braid. So after we get the unit attached on both sides, we wanna to begin to attach it around the perimeter. All right, so I'm gonna go in with that needle into the band, into the braid, pull it through. Then I wanna do that again and go into the unit. All right, so now we're gonna take our round brush and we're going to begin customizing her closure unit. So once you get the closure really flat, you want to go in with your tweezers and pluck open the parted portion of the closure. Make sure not to pluck too hard because you will pluck a hole in your closure. All right, so the next step is to go in and silk in the unit. So I'm gonna be using the Design Essentials Moroccan Oil for protective styles, fine to normal hair to silk in this unit. So you want to section the front portion to the front. Everything that's in front of the ear, you want it to hang in front of the ear. And everything back here, we're going to begin to silk it. Here, how are you feeling? You wanna go long, you wanna go short? I think long with body. You want long with body? 